Hey guys, seeing as the Osu YouTube scene is absolutely dying right now, seriously, why is this stuff going into the algorithm? I thought I'd grace you guys with an actual piece of content until my next big video. I'm going to be talking about something that is constantly referred to in the community, but from an outsider's perspective it doesn't make sense. How is it possible that someone can have a higher position on a map's leaderboard, but with less combo, less accuracy, or even both? This phenomenon is called getting score v want, and let's get into how it works today. Before Osu, before PP and farm maps and all that, there was only the Osu series for the Nintendo DS. This game was very, very simple back then. There were circles, sliders, and spinners, and you had to click them to the beat. There wasn't an accuracy percentage on your screen during those days, but there were still 300s, 100s, and 50s. There was also score. The more 100s and 50s you got, the lower your score would be. When Osu eventually saw its PC adaptation created by Dean Herbert in September of 2007, it only made sense to compare players based on score. It's what plays used to be compared to on the DS days, and it was really easy to implement. It seemed like a no-brainer. Keep this in the back of your mind, the fact that the current Score v1 system is over 13 years old. The Score v1 formula itself is pretty straightforward. It takes into account the hit judgments for the circle, so 300, 150, or 0 aka a miss, the current combo, and difficulty and mods. The difficulty and mods part makes sense because you'd expect the score with hidden and double time to snipe a no mod score, but the hit judgment and current combo is where we start to run into some problems. As the combo increases throughout the map, the score you get per circle also increases dramatically. And because you get a third of your score when you get a 100, or a sixth of your score when you get a 50, that means you will get dramatically less score when you lose accuracy later in the map than earlier. So now that we understand the problem with score v1, let's take a look at some examples of score v1 failing in practice. Using the score formula, we could see some pretty interesting results. Let's assume we're testing a 2000 combo map that is CS4, has an HP drain of 5, and an OD of 8. Also, let's assume we're using no mod, so the mod multiplier will be 1. Getting a 300 on the first circle of the map will grant a score of 300, and getting a 100 on the first circle of the map will grant a score of 100. Pretty simple. However, getting a 300 on the last circle, or 2000 combo into the map, will grant a score of 96,252, and getting a 100 on the last circle will grant a score of 32,084. The exact same accuracy in both of these runs, but one of them has over 60,000 more score, just because the time when you achieved the 100 was much later. Let's push this concept to the absolute limit. For reference, an SS on this hypothetical map gives 96,456,048 score. If you get a single 100 throughout the map on the final circle, you will get 96,391,928 score. But getting 57 100s on the 57 first circles of the map awards 96,393,376 score. It is theoretically possible to get more score on a play with 98.1% accuracy than on a play with 99.97% accuracy, with zero spinners and sliders, only circles. Score v1 is an outdated metric made over 13 years ago, and it has a bunch of flaws. Games like Quaver have already adopted a more modern leaderboard system, in which positions on the leaderboard are calculated using performance, a metric that takes into account an entire play instead of a circle-to-circle -circle scoring system like Score v1. Anyways, hopefully I didn't overwhelm you guys with numbers, but I thought that calculating it with numbers is the most accurate and effective way to demonstrate this principle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, if I see another Osu MFs be like in my recommended, I'm gonna lose my